guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my best gift wrapping hacks. And there are some amazing hacks in this video. I don't want to sound too big headed, but some of these are going to blow your mind. And they're so fun and guaranteed to impress your loved ones this holiday season. So I hope you really like them. If you do like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I'm also super excited because today's video is a collab with my good friend Brianna Kay. Over on her channel, you'll find so much cleaning inspiration. She also does amazing decluttering videos and she documents her life as a busy mom of two. She has a little girl and a little boy and they are so adorable and she also has such a beautiful home. She does decor videos and meal ideas, exercise routine, so much great content that I think you guys will love. So after you watch this video, go over and check her out. And she is doing a video today which is all about holiday homemaking so she's going to be showing you how she's cooking for the holidays stocking stuff for ideas she's also going to be doing decorating and gift wrapping so definitely go and check that one out after this one and tell her that i sent you but without further ado let's get into my amazing gift wrapping hacks Okay, so this first hack is one that I have shared before on my channel, but it's so good that I had to share it again. If you ever find that you don't have quite enough paper to wrap your present and the edges of your paper won't meet up, all you have to do is turn your present diagonally and you will have more than enough paper to wrap your present. This also means that you'll use less gift wrapping paper and I find myself using this hack so often. I even do it when I'm wrapping up a sandwich sometimes. It works so well and it's by far my favorite wrapping hack. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make a really cute gift bag using just wrapping paper. This is such a good hack, especially when you have something to wrap that is a bit of an awkward shape like a soft toy or maybe a pair of slippers or an item of clothing. So all you have to do is cut out a piece of paper around your object and I like to leave about a hand's width of paper above and below my object for this. Fold in the sides and then secure that with a piece of tape and I'm just checking that that will definitely fit in the gift bag as I'm doing it. Then fold up the bottom section and then you kind of squish it down into a diamond and then fold up the bottom of the diamond and the top of the diamond as well and secure that with tape. I use a couple of pieces to make sure it's really strong but you have essentially made the bottom of a gift bag. Then all you have to do is pop your object in and then fold down the top and if you wanted to make it a bit more fancy you can punch some holes in the top you could add a handle or i like to just thread a piece of ribbon through like this and tie it and there you have an impressive little gift bag and if you like to wrap with ribbon, I have a really cute way to store it. Get yourself a paper towel holder and put your ribbon onto that. This looks so cute and almost like a little Christmas decoration itself, but it's also really practical because as you're wrapping, you can just pull off the ribbon that you need and cut it and it makes it really simple. Or if you have lots of ribbon and smaller bundles as well, another great way to store it is to get a basket this one is just from Poundland. Stick all of your ribbon into this basket and then start threading each ribbon through the side holes. And then as and when you need ribbon, you can just pull it through, cut what you need, and it keeps it like an organized mess. And I really like using this system. This year, consider saving the beautiful Christmas cards that you get and recycling them next year as gift tags. These are so easy to make and they'll save you money as well. And the small cards that the kids bring home from school work really well for this because they're already the right size. So just cut off the front cover of the little card, punch a hole into the corner, add your message and then you can secure it to a present using ribbon or tape as well. You can also use larger Christmas cards to make multiple tags. This one, for instance, I actually got four tags out of and they looked really, really cute. 
Let's also talk about what tape to use when you're wrapping. Obviously you can use traditional scotch tape or I found this little gadget in the supermarket. You can also get them online and it is really handy. When you're holding down wrapping paper, you can just pull out a piece from your hand. Or if you want it to be really fancy, you can get double-sided tape like this. And this means that when you're wrapping your present, you won't actually see the tape. It will make the edges look really, really nice and clean. So this is a great option if you're quite proud about how you wrap your presents. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make a really cute pocket on the front of a present, which is the perfect place to put a card or something extra. And it's really easy to do. I'll show you using this book because it does work really well on rectangular presents. But all you have to do is pull in one of the corners, then pull in a second corner and secure that with a piece of tape. Then for the third corner, I kind of squish down the side and pull it all the way across. Sometimes this will go over to the other side, but don't worry about that because then you will have the perfect little pocket on the fourth corner. So pull that up and secure that with a piece of tape. And then you'll see that on the front of the gift, it just looks regular. But on the other side, there is this really cute pocket and then you can add things to it like a Christmas card, maybe a sprig of holly, maybe a little soft toy or some sweets or a little Christmas ornament like this one, which I picked up in Poundland. I think this just looks a little bit extra and really nice. I also wanted to give you a few ideas on how you can gift wrap money to make it a little bit more exciting. So this is how to fold a note into a heart. Pull up the two corners to make the point of your heart then turn it over and fold down half of the top bit and then fold in the two sides as well then fold down the two middle bits to make the center of your heart i'm so sorry i'm no good at explaining this origami but i pretty much just fold it all down to make it into a heart shape and then take some double-sided tape stick that into a christmas card or birthday card and then stick the note onto that and it's just that little bit more impressive and nice to receive as a gift i also love this money box hack and I think this would be such a good one for a teenager or someone a bit older that just wants money for Christmas but you still want to give them something to open. It's really easy to do as well. All you have to do is tape together a big long chain of money and for this demonstration I am taping together 10 10 pound notes so 100 pounds in total. Once you've taped it all together, then start rolling it up. And then when you have finished rolling it up, take your gift box and you'll want to cut a little slit in your gift box that is the size of a note. You wanna be really careful when you're doing this. I'm using an X-Acto knife, um, but yeah, just be really careful when you're doing this. Don't let any kids do this. Um, but once you have cut that out, then put your money into the box and thread through the first note and then tape on a little sign like this that says, pull me. Just stick a bit of tape on there and there you have it. Then when they get their present and they start pulling, it will feel like it's never ending and it's just a really impressive visual way to give money. And while we're talking about gift wrapping, I wanted to show you how I store all of my gift wrap. You don't need a fancy like storage unit for it. All you need is a suit cover. These fit so well into here. You can fill it up with so many different gift wraps and then hang it up into your cupboard. This is great, especially if you want to hide certain gift wrap from little eyes, but also just practically it's hanging in a wardrobe and it works so well. I also wanted to give you some ideas on how you can embellish a gift to make it look really special. And these are all really easy and cheap to do. The first idea is to get mini baubles. And I've picked up packs of either nine or 12 just from Poundland or other supermarkets. And you can either put one onto a gift with ribbon or like I'm doing here, I'm adding a cluster of three. This just looks really nice and they can reuse it. So it's like another little extra gift. Or you can also get baubles that are flat, like this one I picked up in Poundland. They had so many different names in there, so it could be a really nice keepsake. Or I also got this one from Sainsbury's, which is just white and gold. I'm just adding it on with a ribbon. And again, it's something they can keep and use again. 
or if you wanted to just cut a piece off of your real Christmas tree or go out and get some branches or you can buy holly and things like that in the supermarket. This looks really special. I've done a little bauble and some greenery as well. Or I also loved this gift tag idea, especially if you're giving a gift to a child and they can't read yet, why not print out a little picture, then punch a hole into the corner and tag that onto a present. And another idea of how to wrap an awkward shaped present is to consider using a can like this. This one had popcorn in it, but you could easily re-gift an action figure or a Lego set, or you could also gift a print and roll it up in this. Obviously make sure you wash it out and let it dry before you wrap it up. But this looks really effective and it's super simple to wrap. You just pull up the bottom like that and then scrunch in the top and then it has a lid already with it. So you can put your toy or your object inside it add the lid and then add a bow on top of the lid and it looks really nice and effective. Next up I wanted to show you how to make a really fancy matching DIY bow just using gift wrap. This is such an easy one to do and if you have a bit of time it can look really good. So just take your scrap of gift wrap and fold it twice once across like that and then fold it again the other way and then take a pair of scissors and you want to cut strips down until about a centimeter from the bottom. Carry on doing that to the entire piece of paper so that when you unfold it, you will have a long strip of little bits of paper like this. Then take your scissors and very carefully curl them. If a few break off though, don't worry about that. I pretty much do that every time, but curl it as best you can. And then you'll have all these curly little bits of gift wrap and then just start folding it up against each other. And it will all come together to make this really cute little bow. And then you can attach it to your present just with some tape. And as I said, I really like this because it makes the present and the bow match and it looks really fancy and you don't have to spend loads of money on bows. And if you want to get really crafty and creative, you can also make a really cute bow just from using a page out of a magazine. Choose a nicely colored page and then cut it into nine strips. I have three long strips, three medium, two small and one very small. Then taking each strip, you'll want to make it into a figure of eight. You kind of pull over the side and flip it, if that makes sense. This might look a little bit complicated, but once you've done it a couple of times, it becomes so quick and easy. So you want to make eight of your strips into the figures of eight and just leave the tiny one. Secure each one with some double-sided tape and then carry on making the rest of the strips into these little figures of eight until you have all of them there bar the tiniest piece. Um, so yeah, they look like little shoes, don't they? But basically once you've done all of that, then you'll want to take off the other side of your double-sided tape and then start placing them on top of each other and just seeing how the bow comes together. Sometimes I don't actually need all of the pieces, but I kind of put them together. I do the three large ones, then the three small ones on top. And then I use the tiny one to make a little circle, like a little loop in the middle and just finish off the bow. And this looks really cool and effective. And if you're like me and you find doing little crafts like therapeutic and enjoyable, then you would definitely like this one. I know it's not for everyone, but it actually looks really, really cool. Right, so there you have it. Those are all my gift wrapping hacks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And don't forget to go over and check out Bits of Brie. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.